In today's tech video, we are going to do an unboxing and setup of this digital photo frame right here. This is the Aurora Carver Edition. Okay, let me start off by saying that this frame right here that we are going to unbox and set up says Griffin on it, but it's the exact same thing as the Carver. The only difference is if you buy it from Costco that you have to give it the name Griffin. Uh, if you buy it other places, it is the Aurora or Aura Carver. This is my second Aura frame. I really recommend these digital photo frames. I did a lot of research when it came to digital photo frames, and this is the one that I have determined to be the best out there on the market. Uh, reason being is for a few different reasons, and we'll go over that here in a second. But just to go over some of the specifics on this model here, this one has a 10.5 inch screen, uh, which when you measure it like that, that's 10.5, 2.1 on the thickness, and then 7.3 on the height here. Uh, it does have the 1280 by 800 pixel, uh, very high definition on the images that you get. It does have the landscape display like that. So if you do take any pictures in vertical mode, they'll show up like that, but they will have a blurred out effect on the sides, or you can go with just black on the sides. And that's an option that you can select in the settings on the app. Uh, right here. Now here are some of the big specifics of why this uh, is the best digital photo frame here, right there. Free unlimited photo storage. So all the photos are based in the cloud instead of being like on an SD card put inside of the frame. Um, I like that it's all in the cloud and it's unlimited and free. Uh, a lot of times some of these companies want you to pay some type of subscription format. This one does not do that. So you can load thousands of pictures onto your digital photo frame and, and not be charged. Um, it does have that long cord right there, which I really like. And it's kind of like a fabric cord, so it's easy to maneuver. And um, it is a good length. That way, if you are plugging this thing in from a wall outlet that's far away, uh, you it'll be good. Also, some of the things is um, it says crystal clear display. It does have a great display on this thing. Uh, intelligent photo pairing and gift ready packaging. Now, what it means by a gift ready packaging, if you look right here on this top corner, there is a pull down. So you'd have to rip off the cell phone, pull this thing down, and then you can scan it with your phone. There's a QR code behind here. So say you want to give this thing as a gift to somebody, uh, you would scan a QR code, go ahead and get it set up, upload photos to it. And then that way, whenever a person buys this uh, as a gift, all they have to do is connect it to their Wi-Fi, download the app, connect it to their Wi-Fi, and then they'll be able to get this thing up and running with pictures already on there. So great little feature that they have included on here, but you gotta pull that back and get that QR code. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now that we got the cellophane off, let's go ahead and get it out of the box here. Oh, they do a pretty good job with their packaging. Now this is the Griffin Gray Edition. So on here, the border is kind of like a matte finish. That's the thickness of it right there. On the back here, this is a speaker. Uh, so if you do upload any kind of videos to here, short little videos, they will display on here and then the sound will come out here. Um, it does do live photos also. So if you do upload like a live photo from your iPhone, the picture will move a little bit like it does with a uh, live photo. Right there's where you plug in the adapter. And this is the booklet. Let's get connected. Here's all your, all the questions that you have will be answered in here, but um, if you're like me, I'm the kind of guy that likes to just dive in and figure it out myself. All right, let's go ahead and happiness starts here. They do a really good job with their packaging and presentation of this. Pull that out. All right. Inside here is the power cord. Like I said, it's got like a fabric power cable. Okay, on the top here is a touch bar. We'll go ahead and pull this thing off. All right, so the thing with this frame is there, you don't, it's not touch screen. So you won't be touching the screen, which is good because it keeps the screen nice and clean. Everything is done up here as a touch bar. So it'll be like double tapping or swiping. All done up here. Next thing to do is to download the Aura app and get this thing paired up with the app. Also, go ahead and plug this thing in, get some power to your digital frame. 
Okay, as soon as you plug it in, there's no like on and off button. Um, a little circle starts to come on here. You'll just wait for it to kind of warm up and power on. Okay, you'll see that it starts spinning around, letting it do its thing. Okay, you'll get a right or a very bright circle now and a screen. Okay, after you get the screen, there will be a digital code that shows up on a screen where you open up your app and you'll put in that code so that way it pairs to this frame here. So the app will pair to this based on that code. And since I'm recording with my phone, I have to jump off here and get into the app and then I'll be back. Okay, after you download the app, you'll be prompt to set up the frame and you can check if it's for you or if you're setting this up for someone else as a gift. Next, it'll prompt you to go ahead and plug in your frame and there's no on and off button on the frame. It's just a matter of plugging it into the back and plugging it into the wall and then it'll power on. Next, you'll come to this screen right here and it'll ask you if this frame is a gift and you have three different selections here to pick from. And the first one is if you do have a, a code that you can claim. So if you're receiving this as a gift, you would enter in the code here on this first option. The second option is if you are going to be giving this thing away to someone um, as a gift, then you would then get a code that you can give to that person. Or if this is for yourself, you'll just select that last option, which is a skip. And that's what I'm going to do now. All right. The next option will be to add photos. Um, this is where you would take your photos from your camera roll on your phone and you would then import them into the app just like so. And it's, it does it fairly quickly. It imports photos pretty fast. Uh, you do have the option of also importing photos from a computer. Uh, but right here, this option is for mobile purposes. Okay, next it'll highlight some of the features that this frame can do. Like it'll uh, tell you that it does have unlimited photos, add as many photos and family members as you like. Uh, so you can send a link to somebody who may be in a different state or somewhere else that they can then add photos from their mobile uh, into the frame. So it's not just you. Um, many different people can add photos to the frame. Um, you can do change the slideshow order. Your frame will shuffle and add photos together while showing newly added photos first. Um, so the way you can do this is it can either be done as in sequence that the photos have been added in or it'll shuffle it and just you know, kind of jumble it around. Um, the slideshow timing, you can adjust that and there are different settings on there. I believe the lowest setting is 15 seconds that a photo will show up on the frame all the way up to uh, like 10 minutes. Um, the frame does turn on and off by itself. So once you turn on the lights and if it goes dark, it'll sense that the room is dark and it'll um, dim the screen or go black even. Uh, as soon as you flip on the lights, the frame will come to life. There's no on and off. It just automatically detects that. And then again, there is the touch bar. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage um, from a different frame that I have that shows you how this works. But uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, let me show you how some of the details of this. As you can see, I got like a Disney picture on there right now. But say you are watching it um, and you want to kind of slide through it pretty quickly. All you do is you you don't touch a screen at the very top here. It's like a touch pad. And then you swipe your finger across just like that. If you want to go back, swipe it back again, just like so. So there's no touching of the screen itself. Uh, you have to touch the top of it. And then as far as the top goes, you, there is a tap feature that brings up, tells you where it was taken and the date. If your phone that you took it on has that information, um, you can double tap it and then a heart will come up. So you can um, kind of favorite some photos. But also, it does have a, the live photo feature. So I took this with my iPhone. As you can see how it moved. And at the top, top left there, there is that live indicator saying that it is a live photo. So if you do take some live photos on your phone and, they, and you upload them here, they will show up like a live photo instead of just a, a static image. So that's kind of a nice little feature that they have here. Um, if you tap and hold, and not just tap, but if you tap and hold it, you can close this image or you can go over to exclude it or you can turn it off. Uh, those are just some of the touch controls that you have. So say you get a, you upload a picture on here and you don't want to see it anymore. You do that and then you'll just tap it again and then um, yeah, tap and hold. 
you'll just tap it again and then it would exclude it and it wouldn't show up on your photo frame anymore. Slide over there, tap, close, and then it'll continue on. Now, as far as the transitions go, the, you can do the minimum, I believe is 15 seconds or maybe it's 10 seconds. I wanted to pop in here real quick because as I was editing this video, I wanted to give you guys the exact specifics of the uh, slideshow timing. And here on the screen are the exact intervals that you are able to select here. So you can see it has uh, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, all the way up to 24 hours, which I don't know why you would want that, but maybe just uh, to have a picture, one picture every day. But these are different options that you are able to select with the slideshow timing. Also, when you're uploading photos to the app, you can decide whether you want the photos to shuffle or if you want them to go in a chronological order as the way that you upload them. Another nice feature that they offer is Photo Match, where they will display portraits side by side when possible, and Aurora will create moments of delight by pairing related photos, such as the same person, same event, and more. Uh, so what they'll do is like if you have a picture of yourself or uh, a kid or somebody, it'll if it's in portrait mode where you're holding your phone up and down instead of horizontal landscape mode, it'll pair those two photos side by side. And also whenever you do uh, upload photos that are in portrait mode, if they do display just one image like that, they'll blur the background instead of having a black background. So they'll give you the option to choose that also. So you can pick black or filled uh, to kind of blur out the background. So I kind of went for the fill look. I think that looks a little bit nicer. Also with the app, it is a very easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, I know some of these uh, tech devices can be, you know, a little bit difficult to uh, manage, but this one here was very easy to do. And it was uploading it and it is a ma in a matter of minutes, your photos show on here. Uh, they do have different sizes. This is uh, the 10 point, the 10.1 inch they do have a, a bigger one i believe it's like a 15 inch but uh, for a, your regular tabletop i think that this size here is plenty big enough and um, i think this is a a great gift item idea i think that um, this would be a good option if you were in the market to buy a digital photo frame i give this one a two thumbs up on it hopefully this video was helpful in helping you decide if this is a frame for you if it was go ahead and click a thumbs up Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.